As we said, that move to charge Barclays Bank, the Pacific Bank, as well as the holding company, is significant because that's the bit that holds the licence that allows it to operate around the world. So if Barclays was found guilty, it could lose that crucial licence. So let's speak to Fran Boyd, who's Executive Director at Positive Money. They campaign for change within the banking system. Fran, good morning to you. Good morning. Um, look, we're talking about um, events that happened about 10 years ago. Um, I mean, it's astonishing it's taken until now to get to this point, but what difference could it make? Absolutely. Well, like you say, it was 10 years ago, but it is a real symptom of how dysfunctional our banking system was then. And um, from our perspective as an organisation that was set up after the crash, how dysfunctional it is still now today. Uh, we saw Barclays 10 years ago uh, t doing a dodgy deal essentially with Qatar to raise around £11.8 billion from Qatar and others in order to avoid a government bailout. So it wouldn't be in the same category as other banks like RBS. But obviously it was in uh, serious financial trouble and it's, it's had to opt for uh, what could amount to criminal charges for its operations. I think the public at the time, you know, not only did we see two big too big to fail banking, which we still have, but we saw um, too big to jail bankers. And what's important with the move that we've heard today is that this could actually be a case where uh, 10 years on, there, there is a, a big bank with um, people in it that actually could, could face um, going to jail. Yeah, you say 10 years on. I mean, is it likely that anything's actually going to change? I was looking at the share price earlier and it's on the screen as we speak. Um, it's up today. Um, mm. So investors in Barclays aren't overly worried by this, are they? Absolutely. People are pretty confident that this potentially won't happen. And I think, again, that's a symptom of the confidence that the, the banking system and the financial system at large, especially in the UK, has in itself acting essentially, um, you know, potentially outside the law. Obviously, we don't we don't know what the final charges will be. But I think that it is worrying that um, that they're so confident that they won't actually um, really affect them. I think, you know, a question we have to ask ourselves is what kind of banking system do we want? We still have one that is self-serving, that doesn't actually serve the public or the people. Uh, and actually, it, w it would be good if what came out of this was actually some justice and actually uh, a bigger conversation around you know, what, we, what banking system we need. Mm, one we'll uh, talk about again, I'm sure. Fran, thanks so much. Fran Boyd there, who's Executive Director at Positive Money.